Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Gary Modicky. I'm a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. And today I wanted to go through my top three requested noses that I get in my practice. I only had two fingers up. Okay, I'll do it again. Can't be top three. It has to be top three. Okay. Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Modicky. I am a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. And I wanted to take a moment today to talk about my top three requested noses. So when patients come in to see me, I often ask them to bring photos and noses they like or patients they like. So I actually surveyed some of my patients to find out what are their top three um, noses that they like or that they want to have after a rhinoplasty. It was interesting because it has changed over the years. Previously, it used to be more actresses, supermodels, movie stars. Now it's a little bit more reality stars slash social media stars, but there is some throwbacks to some famous people. So we're gonna go through the top three. And uh, the first one that I get very commonly is Ariana Grande. And I think that's for multiple reasons. I, in all top three, they're obviously very beautiful women. And I think that that's a good thing. None of them are really overdone. And in Ariana's case, one of the things I think is important to point out is that she's young. Uh, and the nose she has is, is a young nose. In other words, um, when you're doing a rhinoplasty, you want to have it age appropriate as well. And I think that this nose is very cute. Um, it's very pretty and it works with her because she's very young. Um, also it works with the rest of her facial features. In other words, she has a nice strong chin, high cheekbones, the nose fits in the face, very uh, balanced. It's um, not overdone. I think the bridge is very soft and she has that cute kind of super tip break and, and in her face, it works perfectly. So I think that it's one of the ones that I, I don't mind when people come in requesting it. So my number two most requested nose is of, of course, one of the Kardashians, which would be Kim. Um, although I get a lot of the Kardashian requests. Again with Kim, uh, one of the things is she's obviously very pretty and the rhinoplasty is done well. In other words, it, it again is something that's adding to her beauty and not distracting from it. And it's, uh, again, more of a finesse or, or slight changes, which I think is smart, particularly with celebrities, but patients in general. Um, and we can see that the tip and the bridge have been refined. And I do think there's been several little multiple tweaks over the years. And again, I think that's not a bad thing to do, particularly when you're in the limelight, because um, again, that gradual change will be less noticeable. But in the end, as long as it doesn't get extreme, I think that it's a uh, good way to do the surgery because it's low risk, high reward. Um, and in her case, she's a little bit older than Ariana, but her results, I think, are more of a glamorous nature, very natural uh, and aesthetically pleasing. So I think it was done right. And again, I don't think it's one of the noses that my patients request that is a bad nose. I think it's a good nose and I think that it's very natural and it's one that I don't mind performing for patients. So my number one requested nose actually comes from social media, which is not surprising. Um, and her name is Cindy Wolfie. And um, it's what we call the IG nose in the practice. And um, the reason is that's why she's well known. She's on Instagram and a lot of patients come in with this photo or photos very similar um, that have features of this particular nose. And uh, what they are is that it has a very soft bridge, um, a refined tip, and it's not turned up too much, but it does have what's called a super tip break to the nose. And I think um, although it's a little trendy, um, it's also timeless. So I don't think it's something that's going to necessarily go out of fashion. It's a nose that's going to work for many years and it's not too extreme. It's balanced with her lips and her eyes and her cheeks. And so I think, again, it's one of the noses that when my patients request it, I'm not against putting that nose uh, on the right face. And I think overall it will stand the test of time. Uh, one thing I do want to comment on, uh, particularly Cindy, is that if you Google the term ideal nose, she's going to pop up. So if you Google ideal nose, you'll see that her profile picture frequently pops up. And again, uh, I wanted to point out that it is an, a pretty natural soft bridge. And this is the super tip break and it's very imbalanced with her features. Her, her chin balance, her nose, her brow, everything is in proportion, perfect thirds. So I think that's one of the reasons it comes up as the ideal nose. 
And one other thing that I want to make a distinction is that um, she doesn't break my, my three rules is, which is you should never give patients a piggy nose, a puggy nose, or a pinchy nose. And her nose is none of those. And the, the last one is to not give the ski, slip with, uh, ski slope with that piggy nose. So when patients come in saying, I want this nose, but I don't want a piggy, this is perfect. It's not over rotated, it's not piggy, it's not scooped out. That's why it's a nose that's very aesthetically pleasing as well, as I said, is gonna stand up for many, many years and stand the test of time. So in summary, I wanted to put up all three noses on the same page. And uh, the point I wanted to make was that overall, the top three uh, noses that are requested um, are all fairly natural, um, aesthetically pleasing, um, and they work with all of these patients' facial features, which is a, the reason I think a lot of people request these noses as well as they're very attractive women. And I think the other thing is that they haven't broken those rules. They haven't made them too extreme. The last point I wanna make is that um, although these all work on their individual faces, if we were to switch them up or put Kim's nose on Cindy's face or Cindy's nose on Ariana's face, they may not work as well because they have different facial features, different chins, different cheeks. And so it has to be very individually tailored to facial features. Because when you're doing a rhinoplasty, you want it to blend. Because if that nose is out of place, people will notice it. It'll become more of a distraction rather than something that's going to add to your beauty and make you even more beautiful.